my energy and I use my energy to kind of motivate them and encourage them because not every student's going to walk into this class um, feeling 100%. And uh, I don't know what, what has happened outside of my class. So the best thing that I could do is to excite them about learning by me being excited about teaching them. And then from there, we, um, we explore uh, different career roles, we build models, we do case studies, and uh, it's very, a very hands-on approach to science education, while at the same time incorporating technology, technology that they have grown up with and that I need to be able to adapt to fit the times better. He's a very funny person, so in class he would try to make like little jokes and incorporate it into the lessons. And plus he's also very intelligent and like in helping us how to like write grants or like resumes and finding scholarships, very engaging and with the students. Uh, to maximize the long-term retention of knowledge, students need to be able to investigate uh, scientific phenomena in unique and creative ways. That's what they're going to remember when they leave my class. They're not going to remember our worksheets. I often say worksheets don't build dendrites or you know neurons or connections in the brain. It's actively doing things that um, makes these and establishes these long-term connections and maximizes retention of knowledge.